Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm James and we have uh, in the process of clearing out an old building found this video camera arm or a crane or a boom, I don't know, whatever, whatever term you want to use. Um, it says it's made by Pro-Am Multimedia, made in the USA. It is aluminum. And this is all that there, this is all we found, is just this one arm. So what happens is you'll put some counterweights there. Here you will be hooked up to a tripod uh, of some ilk. And then down there, you will have a camera set up on it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna make something that's gonna mount that to something else we found as we're cleaning this building out. So what we found was just a, a speaker stand. It's got a capacity sticker on there that says 40 pounds. And what I have done is I have a, um, a Manfrotto tripod dolly that, as you can tell by the amount of dust, been laying around here for a million years. So what we can do is we're going to affixate this speaker stand to this dolly and what we need to do is up here the other up here yeah, there we go is we need to make something that will connect this pole to the base plate of that camera arm over there and we scrounged around the shop and let me show you what I got so I have this piece of leftover steel tubing from when we mounted the TV in the ceiling. So that can go there. And then I have a bunch of these steel plates, which we're going to weld on there. Then we will, of course, cut it to shape. Then we'll cut a hole in the top of that. And then it, it almost looks like that's like a quarter 20 thread over there. We may, I may beef that up, I'll put a little bit bigger bolt in there. But so this is going to be our base. Um, oh, and this is a, it's not a no name brand, it's a PV stand. How about that? I like the PV stuff. That'll be our mount that will fit on top of here. So we just have to prep this up and get the TIG welder fired up and, uh, and then we'll lay a bead in there and we'll make this. All right, we got, uh, we got tack welds on. I'll probably put one more tack weld in between each one of those because you know that's the way I was taught to do it. So, drilled a quarter inch hole through here. Just got a carriage bolt, um, a lock washer, and a nut on this side. So now, broken down like that. I've just taken, this is just a piece of all thread with a couple of nylocks on the end of it. And that, makes our arm. I don't know how this went on the original piece. If I was designing this, I probably would have had something a little beefier than a quarter, a quarter 20 screw through there. So let's, um, I've got, now there's no, I got no sandbags for stability or anything like that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put something on the end of it and see how that works. All right, let's uh, see. Now, mind you, this is a this is 
is a cell phone shot. You know, up close, close it doesn't track so good. But I mean, if let's say if you have a stage over on the far side, all right. Well, anyways, there it is, and I've got no counterweight on the end of it either. So, once you counterweight it, you'll be all right. So anyways, there's a camera crane that was found, and so far, what are you into it for? About, hmm, $4 in hardware, and an hour of shop time on oh, the dolly. Dollies, uh, I don't know what they are used, 50 or 75 bucks. We'll try it out. It's kind of what we do here on the weekend. If I can do it, you can do it. Have a good one. Cheers. I hope you found this episode educational or entertaining or maybe even both. You might want to check this one out as well. Be sure to hit the subscribe button Hit the little bell to be notified when new videos drop. And if you've got comments, make sure you put them down beneath the sermon notes. Thanks for hanging out with us here at the Rattle Can Fab Shop. Y'all have a good one. Cheers.